Greetings to the country of South Korea. I come to you in the name of the Lord with a message. Repent and be baptized, for the kingdom of heaven is near. For any of you in South Korea who do not yet know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I want to invite you to become a Christian today and be baptized in the Spirit. In order to begin your journey as a new Christian, you need to start with confession of sin. This uh, can be done by simply saying, I'm sorry, Jesus, for my sins. Thank you for dying to save me. I welcome you into my heart and commit my life to you. If you can say that or something like that in your own words, and of course, mean it, sincerity, because we're all sinners, we all need Jesus, so you either know you're a sinner intellectually or spiritually, or both, you assent to it, you acknowledge it, if yes, then I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and by virtue of your faith, you are now a Christian, welcome. Congratulations. You're now a member of the body of Christ, the family of God. And you can be assured of where you go when you die. It's called heaven. And in heaven you'll be you'll be there with God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. That's our God, one God. Three persons, that's the Trinity God. And also, you'll be there with all the angels and saints, and your fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. And also, even uh, your own family members will be there with you if, if they're Christian when they die. So if you have relatives who have not yet accepted Christ as Savior, They haven't passed away. Now's the time to invite them to become Christians. And now that you're a Christian, there's four things you should do as soon as possible. First, you should start talking to God. We call that prayer. Second, you should start reading the Word of God. That's the Bible. Third, you should start telling others about God, that's called evangelism, telling the story of Jesus Christ, inviting people to become Christians, how to be saved, what Jesus did to save us, and all the different stories in the Bible can be told as you become familiar with them and incorporate them. Being an evangelist, it doesn't have to be a long invitation be short, simple, just like I'm doing, this is a medium length invitation I guess, you have to use, uh, you choose your own way, there's no perfect formula, whatever fits into your personality and style, but you can't, you can't compromise the, the basics of the Bible, those have to be included. All right, and then fourth, you should join a good church, uh, one that respects traditional values, protects unborn life, uh, respects one man, one woman marriage, things like that. If you can't find that wherever you are, then at least find other Christians of that type. And fellowship with them, study the Bible together, pray together on a regular basis. That's your small Christian family. And all the other Christians around the world, that's your big Christian family. You need both. The arm needs the leg, leg needs the eye, eye needs the ear. It's the body. We want all, all parts of the body to be healthy. And then I'll add a little more for you to read in the box below. And if you have any questions or for a free Bible, please message me on YouTube and I'll happily try to help you as best as I can. 
and I'll be praying for you. God be with you and bless you. Lord, we pray for any new Christians in South Korea. We also pray for their relationship with North Korea and for safety, and we hope for the conversion of uh, North Korea to Christianity as well. And that they can be evangelists in North Korea if possible. We pray for the new Christians to be filled up with all your love, joy, peace, patience, and kindness, and all the fruit of the Spirit, so they can believe in you and follow you with all their heart, mind, strength, and soul. And uh, have the courage to tell others about you, to tell the gospel, the good news of you, Jesus Christ our Savior, everywhere they go. Pray this in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.